So in this video, I want to show you how to transfer your files from your Kali Linux to your Windows uh, virtual machine. So for example, I'm using VMware and I want to send some files from my Kali to Windows. You could need it in cases where you need to maybe move a malware that you want to test to your Windows environment or vice versa. So we'll be looking at how to send from Windows to Kali and from Kali to Windows, so both ways. Um, so this video is it's it's going to be different from the straightforward ones you just watched because I'm just going to try to explain some parts in case you're a beginner or in case you want to just learn some things here. So it will be fast, but to be a bit detailed. So um, without wasting more time, let's just get started. So um, the first thing you need to do is uh, <clears throat> you need to first make sure that your Kali is up to date. That your Kali is updated. So the way to do that is that we're going to uh, do the apt or let's do sudo sudo apt get updates. So we need to make sure our Kali is up to date. So here's requesting for our Kali password. So once your password is correct, it's going to go ahead and update. For me, mine is updated because I've already run this. So if yours is not updated, it will tell you to type Y and then hit enter. Then it will go ahead and update. Once it's done, it will just close that place and open a new one. So like this, it's updated. Um, Now, the next thing we need to do is to see if we have Python installed. So Python is a programming language. Um, So we need Python libraries to be able to achieve the file transfer that we want to do. So we need to make sure it's installed. So um, if you want a simple way to check it, it's just to um, do the apt install Python 3, which is the latest type of, the latest version of Python, Python 3 or version 3. So once you do this, if you already have it installed, okay, so let's run it with sudo. So I just press the up arrow to go back to this command and just let's type sudo, then hit enter again. So it's going to check. So as you can see here, I already have it. Python 3 is already in the newest version. It's just telling me to remove the old stuff from the older versions if I want to, but um, I don't want to, so it's fine. But in your own case, if you don't have it installed, once you do this, it's going to show you and tell you to press Y to go ahead. So you press Y for yes and you hit enter. It's going to go ahead to install it and then it's going to go ahead to download it and then install it. So once that is done, it's going to exit and then it will bring you to something that looks like this. So um, let's just clear this so that we'll have space. So I'm clearing everything. Uh, and go back if you miss something. So now, once your Python is installed, the next simple step to um, take is, um, again, we need to know the IP of our Windows machine or the Windows VM that we want to send the file to. But before that, we need to run this simple command. So all you need to do is write Python 3 dash M then http dot server. So what this is is this is a um we are creating a a web server to be able to download our files from the Windows uh Windows VM. So eighty eighty. So you can use any port. So the command is Python three then dash m and then um http dot server and then we are using a port. So you could use any port. You could use port nine thousand ports. Uh, 8,000, whatever it is, but I advise you not to use port 1 to 1,000. Don't use that yet because those are default ports and uh, they might be used by a service on Kali or sometimes you might, maybe if you use something like 9,000 and then you go further, you might see that you're not having what you are having because that port is already being utilized by some other program. So um, let's just use this 8080. So um, once, uh, once you're done, you can hit enter. But before that, Remember, we need to um we need to transfer a file from our Kali to our Windows. So we need to know where is that file we want to send on our Kali. Where is it located? You know, mostly, if, most times, if you download a file from your Firefox, it's going to be in your let me minimize this. It's going to be in your um downloads folder. So let me just click on this. So it's going to be in your downloads folder. So let's just open this open folder. So any file you download from browser will be here. So you can see all these different files. Mm -hmm. Um, again, we can also see the files from this place. So um, let's let me clear this first and let's let's assume the file we want to 
download is in um, is, we want to get is in our downloads so you just go to downloads that's chain directory to downloads so you can see now it's different it's different from the home directory is now in downloads so we'll do ls to list and see the files and folders in the downloads so you can see we have a lot of files and folders in the downloads um which is a lot but let's assume the file we want to send is in our desktop directory so we can just change to see you can do cd dash dash to go back then cd desktop desktop to go to desktop so we can now do ls so we can see all the files in our desktop these green ones are executable files that means you can run or install it these are python files these are folders this dark blue stuff are folders why these white ones are text files so or normal files so um let's say this is the file we're interested in this ips.tx is the file we want to uh we want to send from our kali to our windows so um since we've noted where the file is is in desktop if yours is in downloads you could just okay let me use downloads because I'm, I'm assuming in this situation most of us might have um file, the files in downloads so let's just use downloads just to avoid any um any confusion so cd dash dash so cd downloads let's just use downloads so that's so that's um so clear everything okay so we're in downloads now so you can do ls to see everything in download so this is everything in downloads now um let's assume i want to yeah i'm interested in this dns.pickupng so i want to send it to my windows maybe to do whatever or this 2013.zip zip file i want to send it to my windows so now it's time to type in that command so python 3 dash m Remember, it must be in this path where your file is located, which is inside the downloads. Then HTTP dot server. So just press the right arrow key to continue it. So once you're done like this, you just hit enter. So it will tell you seven HTTP on this port. I mean, on this IP and then this port. So you can go to your Windows VM. You can see I have my Windows 10 client, which is in my Windows virtual machine I use for testing and whatever. I have other ones, Windows Server, Windows 11, but we are using Windows 10. So, I'm sorry. So, um, now uh, we we want to go to our browser, open our browser. So we open this browser here. So when you open your browser, what you need to type in here is your Kali IP address. We need to type in the IP address of your Kali. So we need to see the IP address of our Kali. So how do we see that? Um, you can just open, click on file to check it. Click on file, open a new tab. to so open a fresh tab for you where you can type in command. So let's use this our, let's use this place. So just type IPA for IP address. You can type IPADDR or if config anyone. So let's use IPADDR. So this is our um, wireless adapter, ETH0, young could be WLAN0, whatever it is, but this one. So this is the IP here, INET. This is the IP address, 192.168.204.133. Okay, so we are going back to our Windows and we are typing in that, <clears throat> that IP, which is 192.168.204.133. So we are putting colon that dot dot and 8080 which is the ports we registered so um before you do this you need to make sure that your kali and your windows are on the same subnet so you can see um as my kali is 204.133 if i check my windows ip address here um using i just open cmd and type ip config you can see my IP address is 192.168.204.129. So the only difference is this 129, which shows that it's on the same subnet because it's on 204. This one is 204. But 133 is the differentiation with this one. So once you've made sure that it's on the same subnet, you that this is reachable, or you can always, always just do ping to see if it's reachable. Ping, then we are putting the IP of our um our Kali here, 204. 
one three three once you hit enter it should once you're seeing reply from this reply that means you're getting reply so it's fine so and once you get that it means it's on the same subnet you can also check in case when you right click on this your kali here you check your settings make sure yours is on nats um, i mean it's advisable it's on nats when you're doing any of all these testings or whatever your network adapter is not set to not check for the windows also let's cancel this if you check for the windows also right click on it go to settings then you see that it's also on that so you can cancel it uh, that's fine so now what we type there in our windows in our windows um, browser is 192.168.204.133 close it once you close it let's run it again let's run the command again but this time let's use 8081 let's use something else because that 8080 is already being used by some other service so let's use 